morning everyone to join again to start off Other scams on. <clears throat> so this was the last thing that we did, resolution of vectors in Lamy's theorem. The next one. is a scalar dot product. Again, uh, one of the important one, we use this a lot. Uh, what was the homework question? What is the homework question? This one, hmm. What to do? Same idea, tha. remember in this we got already OA cap, OB cap, OC cap, na? So we know OA cap was I cap plus K cap. We proved it in the previous problem by root two. OB cap will be, J cap plus K cap by root two. OC cap would be I cap plus J cap by root two. So in this thing, you want A bar. So A bar will be two times OA cap. B bar will be three times OB cap. C bar will be four times OC cap. And now you are asking A bar, two B bar, three A bar. So, so this function here is, so a bar plus two b bar plus three c bar is two times o a cap plus two times three. So six times o b cap plus 12 times o c cap. Is this making sense? Then you will get everything in terms of i cap j cap, finish it off and solve. So you can take out one by root two common, you end up with two i, two k, six j, six k, 12i, 12j. I'll teach you a much faster and a you know, better method than this in dot product. And then get the magnitude of this. So one by root two, 14i, 18j, 8k. The mod of a plus 2b plus 3c would be one by root two root over 14 square, 18 square plus eight square. Clear? Everyone got this. But like I was telling you, there's a much faster method to do this, but we will see that later on. You need dot product for that. Next thing. That was a homework question. Uh, others need to keep your cams on or else you'll be removed from the classroom. Scalar dot product. Now, if you remember, I told you in the beginning, vector chapter, right, was actually created by, you know, the people because uh, people were using these concepts, but there was no formal chapter before 1990. So most of the things we create, right, are for convenience rather than a pure concept. So scalar dot product is one such concept.
so certain scalar quantities depend on the magnitude of the vectors and cosine of the angle between them. Now, this is what people observed. For example, if you have a block, let's say the force acting on the body is F, S is your displacement, F is your force and theta is the angle between them. We know the work done ka formula is F S cos theta. Later on, we will see power is F into V into cos theta. V is velocity. Later on, we will see in uh, 12th standard electric flux. which is electric field E into A into cos theta. So if you see, right, these terms keep coming up everywhere. Something, you know, E into A cos theta, these terms keep popping up. So people said, yeah, these quantities are quite common. So we should do something about them. So since it is coming up every time, what we defined, you know, we defined it. We created this function mod A bar, mod B bar, the magnitude into cos theta. We started writing this as a bar dot b bar. Are you getting it? a bar dot b bar is not a mod a mod b cos theta. Since the terms are coming every time mod a mod b cos theta, we start calling this term as a bar dot b bar. That means this function will become f bar dot s bar. This function become f bar dot v bar. This function become e bar dot a bar. Like I was saying, this was actually created. Scalar dot product was created by observing a lot of quantities. But let's see what is the physical significance of this. So mod A, mod B, cos theta is defined as A bar dot B bar. Now, let's see how to use this. Everyone clear with this? Let's see the physical significance. So a bar dot b bar, it's called scalar dot product. This is given by mod a, magnitude of a, magnitude of b, and theta is the angle between them. What is the physical significance? If you have a vector a bar, if you have a vector b bar, and if this is angle theta. So the vector components, right, what does it gives you? So this B bar ka shadow, if you drop it on this, this is your vector component. So here B cos theta is a component of B bar along A bar. Now, what do you mean by that exactly? Think of like this. What it means is it is like the length of the shadow. Let me give you one more example. Same way I could done the other way also. If this is a bar and this is b bar and this is theta. If you drop this perpendicular onto b, this is a cos theta. A cos theta is a component of a bar along b bar. So basically it tells you what is the effect of a bar in the direction of b bar. Example, 
let's say we have a block here and you have a spring here. Okay. Now, if I push the block in the forward direction by X, let's say this angle is theta. How much do you think the spring will compress? Do you think the spring will compress by X? See, if the block was like this, if I push the block by X, spring also will compress by X. But if the spring is at an angle, what happens here? If you see in this direction, the component will be So if you push this point by X, this direction, the component of X, meaning the resultant, it will be like this and this two components, this would be X cos theta. So the spring will compress by X cos theta. That's the meaning of component. Spring will not compress by X. Are you getting this? So by traveling X distance in this direction, only a part of the distance is converting into the compression. Is that making sense? Or think of like this, I can give you one more thing. Let's say if you have a block like this, I'll turn the page. And let's say you have dug a tunnel or you're walking in this distance for five meters. And let's say this angle is some 37 degrees. So in the vertical direction, how much did you walk? Five cost 37, isn't it? So even though you walked five meters in reality, you covered only five cost 37 in the vertical direction. So the component of five meters in the vertical direction is called five cost 37. So it tells you the effect of one vector in the direction of another vector. Like this example, even though the block is moving distance X, the spring does not compress by X. So when block moves by X, spring compresses by X cos theta. Is there an idea you're getting? What is the component? So this is how we are going to use components. So how do we get this in terms of vector format? So from this formula, we know B cos theta. So if you take this guy, so this is the full name for this. Vector component of B bar along A bar, look at the word. I can also say like this, if you're, uh, imagine if you're shining light like this, what will be the length of the shadow? Isn't this the shadow? Is it making sense? If you shine a light like this from the top direction, what is the length of the shadow on the floor? It is B cos theta. Even though the rod girl length is B, the shadow girl length is only B cos theta. So the vector component of B bar along A bar is B cos theta, that is a length. And what's the direction? A cap. Isn't that how you get the direction of any vector? But from this thing, what is B cos theta? A bar dot B bar by mod A bar into A cap. That is the vector form of component of B bar along A bar. Suppose if this is A bar and this is B bar and this is theta. Now, if you shine light like this, then this would be the shadow, which is A cos theta. So even though the rod ka length is A, the length of the shadow is only A cos theta. So vector component of A bar, meaning the effect of A bar in the direction of B bar is A cos theta into direction is B cap. A cos theta, from here we can get it. A bar dot B bar by mod B bar into B cap. Have a look at this. Is everyone getting the meaning of components? <clears throat> 
So every time whenever you do, let's say a force F or if you have a displacement X, there is no guarantee the other person also will move X. Like this example, when I moved the block by X, there is no guarantee spring will compress by X. The spring compressed only X cos theta. The same way, even though the length of the rod is B, the shadow of the length is only B cos theta. You don't clear with this? Next one. Now, how to get this dot product, how to calculate exactly. Any doubts on this page? Can I turn the page? Yeah, yeah you can just put the main things. Don't worry about the thing. Notes, I'll be getting the PDF anyways. But uh, any doubts, anything you didn't understand, please ask. Ashmit, do keep your cam on. Everyone resolved the paper, right? Uh, there is one correction, no? that uh, two R, that circle wala thing, that I did the correction. End of the class, we can see. If you have any doubts in the paper, we can do that. Now, if you have I cap dot I cap, this is what? Mod I cap, mod I cap, angle between them is cos zero. So I cap dot I cap is one. Similarly, j cap dot j cap is also one. K cap dot k cap is one. But if you do i cap dot j cap, that is mod i cap, mod j cap, that is one and one. And the angle between i cap and j cap is 90 degrees. This is zero. j dot k cap or k dot i cap is zero. So like vectors will give you one. This perpendicular vectors will give you zero. So if you have two vectors, so from here we can write down a few things. A bar dot B bar is also equal to B bar dot A bar. If you have A bar dot B bar plus C bar can be written as A bar dot B, you can just expand them. A bar dot C bar. If someone gives you two vectors A bar, which is AX I cap, AYJ cap, and AZK cap. The second vector is BX I cap. B Y J cap and B Z K cap. If someone asks you A bar dot B bar. Now, literally what you're doing is multiplying, getting it. You're multiplying this with this, this with this, this with this. And just now we saw the like vectors will multiply. So this will become AX into BX. This will become AY into BY. So all other unlike terms will become zero. A Z into B Z. So the best thing about this dot product, right, is to find angle between two vectors. If you give me two vectors with I cap, J cap, the most useful thing is to find the angle between two vectors. Cos theta is A bar dot B bar, which is AX, BX, plus AY, BY, plus AZ, BZ, by mod A will be root over AX square, AY square, AZ square. That's how you get the magnitude. Root over BX square, BY square, and BZ square. These two are important. So if you give me two vectors in terms of I cap, J cap, K cap, and this is how you get the dot product, and this is how you get the angle. Please have a look at this. Clear? Any doubts on this? Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Next one. Let's see a question on this. We have two vectors. A bar is 2y minus j plus 3k. B bar is i 
माइनस टू जे प्लस फोर के टू के ओनली सो फाइंड फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए बार डॉट बी बार सेकेंड क्वेश्चन एंगल बिटवीन ए बार एंड बी बार थर्ड क्वेश्चन वेक्टर कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ ए बार एलोंग बी बार वेक्टर कॉम्पोनेंट वेक्टर कॉम्पोनेंट मीन यू हेट गिव मीन आई कैप जे कैप डायरेक्शन ऑफ बी बार एलोंग ए बार टिल हेर इट इज ग्रेट आई वॉन्ट अ वेक्टर कॉम्पोनेंट of a bar perpendicular to b bar i taught you how to find along but perpendicular how to do this will be a good one and find a bar dot product 2 a bar minus b bar let's get all of them actually i can do like this a bar plus b bar dot product two a bar minus b bar let's get all the six questions straight forward formula substitution Remember dot product is just that the reason why we call it scalar dot product is because the final answer comes a number. You got an answer. You can type in the chat box here to the co-host. Don't type to the host, ah. Huh? I can't see. That's my tab. I'm watching you guys on my computer screen. Try, try, try. Everyone should try. At least the first three, four part should be easy. The fifth one is something new. Perpendicular component. Okay, first one we have an answer ten. Yeah. Keep going. Get the remaining. Right, Tanish. Om. We both got it. Try, try. I'll give you one minute for the first two parts, and one minute for C, and one minute for D. Everyone should try. <clears throat> Let's see the first part. So a bar dot b bar. That's a straightforward question. So a bar dot b bar. Multiply the x component so two into one, then minus one minus two, then three into two that is ten done. What is the angle between the vectors? Cos theta 
which is a bar dot b bar, the magnitude of a bar and magnitude of b bar. That turns out to be 10 by root over 2 square, 1 square, 3 square, root over 1 square, 2 square, 2 square. That is 10 by, that is 9 plus 10 root 14. And this is 4, 4 root 9, that is 3. Yeah, you don't have a good number. So 10 by 3 root 14. You can leave the answer like this. So theta would be cos inverse. 10 by 3 root 14. Yeah. That's the first two parts. Hope everyone got this thing. That's the easy one. Any doubts on this? Direct formula substitution, there's nothing there to think. Let's get these two. Vector component of A bar along B bar. Think of like this. See, always think of vector component of A bar along B bar, meaning a bar is a vector you want along B bar. So I'm asking you A ka shadow, which is A cos theta, in which direction? B ka direction. Think of like that in case you forgot. And what is A cos theta? I know A bar dot B bar is A, B cos theta. So A cos theta will be sent B here. So in case you forgot also, you can derive the formula. So don't need to buy hard anything. Try. I'll give you two minutes for both. Anyone is confused so far? Anything you're not clear, please ask. Hmm. So the first part, you are asking vector component of A bar along B bar. So A cos theta, that is the magnitude along B bar is B cap. So this is nothing but A bar dot B bar by mod B into B cap. A bar dot B just to be calculated, that is 10. So let's calculate mod B also. The so mod B is 3. And B cap is nothing but B bar by B cap mod B. So this is 10 by 3 and B bar is I minus 2J plus 2K by 3 again. So this is 10 by 9. I minus 2J plus 2K. That's your component. Have a look at this. Similarly, for D, vector component of B along A means I'm asking B cos theta. So whichever component you want, uska cos theta, which direction along A bar, so that is A cap. This is again A bar dot B bar by mod A, and this is A cap. So this is 10, and mod A is root 14. And this is 2i minus j plus 3k by root 14. And that would be 5 by 7 of 2i minus j plus 3k. Check. Quite useful. This thing will come like two to three times in physics, I guess, not much. But yeah, that is how you get the components. <clears throat> this will be a part of the question. The actual question, you know how it will look.
So we have questions like this later on. Ball collides with the wall and all. We actually take components here. See, component of V bar along normal. Component of U bar along normal. So we take components there. So we use a concept like that. This will be part of a, some other problem. Clever this? Any doubts on this page? Now the main thing, the perpendicular one. How do you get that perpendicular? I taught you parallel. Try, you got two minutes. I want vector component of A bar, which is perpendicular to B bar. Think, 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 take a minute. It's okay if you don't get an answer, but give it a try. Mm, let's see. Look at the idea here. So what did we say? This is your A bar. Fair enough. This was your B bar. So when you drop the shadow here, this was your A cos theta. Can I say this is a vector parallel to B bar? And can I say this is perpendicular to B bar? So A bar is nothing but A parallel plus A perpendicular. Do you agree? This component plus this component, triangle of vectors now should be this component. A parallel vector to B bar, A perpendicular vector to B bar. So A parallel plus A perpendicular should be A bar ka vector. Therefore, the perpendicular component is nothing but the total vector A bar minus the A parallel component, which is nothing but A bar minus A bar dot P bar. So you're asking component of A bar along this thing, AB cos theta, which is uh, A cos theta B cap, which is A bar minus A bar dot B bar by mod B bar, B cap, that's your answer. And that we have just now calculated, how much was that? Mm, okay, this thing we did, how much was that? That was this thing. 10 by 9, I cap minus 2, J cap minus this thing. So the A perpendicular component is A bar, which is 2Y minus J plus 3K minus 10 by 9, I cap minus 2J cap plus 2K. There, you can simplify that, you'll get an answer. How much is it if you simplify? 9, 2 is 18 minus 10. 8 i cap minus 9 j plus 20 j 29 j plus 27 minus 27 k by 9 that's your answer check it out everyone that's how you find the perpendicular component 
quite an important thing because most people know how to find parallel the moment it comes to perpendicular people are confused this is a good concept this is the thing so a perpendicular is a bar minus a bar dot b bar by mod b b cap <clears throat> please have a look at this page so the idea we are using triangle of vectors a parallel plus a perpendicular should be a a bar is the idea clear everyone Any doubts on this? Anyone not convinced with this? Please ask. Vedal, clear with us. Devansh, Archana, clear. Om, Devika, clear. Kaushambi, Sanya, clear with us. Pushkal, perfect. I will be a question back here. F answer kya tha? What is the dot product of a bar plus b bar dot two a minus b bar? Let's see. Now, one way to do, right? Add A plus B bar, you'll get something. Then do 2A minus B bar, you'll get something. Then do dot product. That is quite long and lengthy. There's a better way. A bar plus B bar dot 2A bar minus B bar. So directly multiply. So that will become 2A bar dot A bar minus A bar dot B bar. Then it will be 2 B bar dot A bar and minus B bar dot B bar. A bar dot A bar is nothing but 2 A square because uh, so A bar dot A bar is mod A and mod A and both the vectors are same vectors. So the angle is 0. This guy is A dot B and that thing is uh, 2 times B dot A. So A dot B and this is minus B square magnitude. So you're done. So A ka magnitude is how much? Root 14. A dot B is 10 and B ka magnitude is 9. So that is 28 plus 129. Check. There's no need to find A plus B and 2A minus B separately. You can just multiply like this, finish it off. Clear with this? Have a look at this. <clears throat> 
Clear. Turn the page. Next one. Any doubt? Anyone not convinced with this? Please ask me. Let's see an easy one. Let's say vector 2i bar minus 3j plus 4k. And we have a vector b bar, which is xi plus 2j minus k. Find x if a bar and b bar are perpendicular. Easy one, get this. Yeah, so if two vectors are perpendicular, a bar dot b bar is mod a mod b cos theta. If theta is 90, a bar dot b bar is 0. This is mathematically, but logically also if you see the reason, if this is your uh, a bar and if this is your b bar, and if you shine light on this, what is the length of the shadow? Just a point, isn't it? If the pole is vertical, there's no length of the shadow. So that is the meaning of physical significance. There's no shadow only there. So that's your statement there. If two vectors are perpendicular, dot product is zero. Quite a useful statement. So if you do a bar dot b bar, that would be 2x minus 6 minus 4. x is 5. Easy? Mm, let's see one more. Any doubts on this? We have a vector. A particle moves along the line. Y is equal to 2x plus 3. Which of the following vectors are perpendicular to the line? That's a symbol for perpendicular. Options would be 2y plus j, i plus 2j, minus 2y plus j, minus i minus 2j. So I gave you a line and I gave you a vector. You're comparing line and vectors now. How do we do this? Mm, Tanish, that's not the answer.
डी सी डी ए सब ऑप्शन है बी किसी ने बी नहीं बोला थिंक थिंक थर्टी सेकेंड में हो जाए शो यू C is the answer. Figure out how. I'll give you thirty seconds. See. So what is the idea here? <clears throat> Whenever you have a vector, let's say R bar is x i plus y j, so if you take this angle here theta, we know this is x and this is y. So tan theta is equal to y by x. So basically, this is the slope of the vector or slope of that line. So tan theta is nothing but slope. And I'm sure you studied in school. If two lines are perpendicular, what is the product of the slopes? Did you study that? Minus one. In case you don't know that, please learn this thing now. If two lines are perpendicular. the product of the slopes is minus 1 so for y is equal to 2x plus 3 the slope would be slope is 2 let's say for the vector slope is x y y so the product should be 2 into y by x is minus 1 means y by x should be in the ratio of minus 1 by 2 or 1 by minus 2 iska meaning ye hai you can have a vector in the form of minus 2i plus j or you can have a vector in the form of i 2i minus j are you getting it you can have actually any multiple of these two any multiple of these two will work getting it we can have any multiple of this so you can have k Minus two i plus j. K is any integer. K can be any number. Positive or negative will work. Actually, there are infinite answers, but in the options, if you see, there is two i minus j. नहीं है. So only C is the answer. If this is a multiple choice question, more than one choice, I would have given both. You could have taken anything, like you know, uh, into two, into five, into thousand also works. Because all parallel vector, all parallel vectors will work out. Clear with us? So we have to use that concept that two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slope is minus one. Clear. Next one. Now going back to that question, if you remember. Three vectors, a bar, b bar, c bar of magnitude two have angle sixty degrees between any two vectors. Then the question was find. Mod a bar, mod b bar, and c bar. So this was the question we did with the vector form. Where is that guy? This one. That is question sixteen. 
so this is again 16 ka alternate solution this will be the fastest solution how to do this dot product I hope you're getting the angles right. In case you forgot, let me just show you the diagram again. The vectors won't be in the same line, same plane. They'll form a tetrahedron. So we have one vector like this. A bar, one vector like this, B bar, and one vector like this, C bar. And the angle between any two vectors is 60 degrees. So this is 60. This is 60 and this is 60. All there out of plane. This I taught you how to do in two methods already. One is brute force geometry. One is using that square. But uh, there's a much faster way using dot product. Take a minute. Think about it. This will save you a lot of time. Think, 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 another 30 seconds. See, so A bar plus B bar plus C bar dot product <clears throat> A bar plus B bar plus C bar is mod of A bar plus B bar plus C bar ka square, isn't it? Now, if you do this, what do I get? <clears throat> A dot A, A square, B dot A, B square, C dot C square. Then I get two times A bar dot B bar plus two times B bar dot C bar, plus two times C bar dot A bar. That's your mod A plus B plus C ka whole square. You said all vectors are magnitude two. <clears throat> so this is two square, two square, plus two square. What is two AB? Two into, two into, two into, what is the angle between them? Cos 60. This is two into, two into, two into cos 60. This is two into, two into cos 60. This is 444, four, four, that is 12. Cos 60 will cancel with that. So that is another 444, four, four, that is another 12. Is mod A plus B plus C whole square. So magnitude of mod A plus B plus C is root 24, which is 2 root 6. Wasn't that the answer? 2 root 6. 2 root 6. Saves you a lot of time. No headache, component, gimperant, kuch nahi. Take the cross dot product and finish it off. You will get the answer pretty fast. But the thing is, you lose all the information. You don't know actually what is happening, but 
saves you a lot of time in the exam. So this problem can be done in three ways. This is the fastest. Have a look at this. You could have done that other thing also. Two-way, three-b, four-d thing also could have done it the same way. Since you said the angle between them is 60 degrees, that dot product will be a, B cos 60. So it works out. Clear? Next one. <clears throat> Next one. Turn in the page. We have two vectors, mod A bar is two, mod B bar is one. Angle between A bar and B bar is 60 degrees, pi by three. Find angle between A bar plus B bar and 2a bar minus b bar. Now, I don't know how a bar and b bar are. The only thing I know their magnitudes and the angle between them. So if you add a plus b, you'll get a new vector. If you add 2a minus b, you'll get a new vector. I want, let's call it c bar and d bar. So I want angle between c bar and d bar. How do we do this? I hope the question is clear, everyone. Bridges, you need to keep your cam on. How do we do this? Try, try, try. Give it a try. Everyone should give it a try. Just give it a try. Get some water and come. <clears throat>
cos inverse 8 by 9. Okay. Let's see. So, first thing, I am asking you angle between A plus B and 2A minus B. Now, look at here. So, we want A plus B bar dot 2A bar minus B bar is mod of A bar plus B bar mod of 2A bar minus B bar and cos alpha. So this is kind of looking like this C bar dot D bar is mod C bar mod D bar cos alpha. Be careful. Theta pi by 3 is angle between A bar and B bar. It has nothing to do with A plus B and 2A minus B. Alpha is a different angle. Theta is a different angle. Clear. So once we got this. This is a good question. We use two different concepts, dot product and parallelogram of vectors. So on the left hand side, it will be a dot a to a square. B dot a plus two a bar dot b bar. And then uh, this way minus a bar dot b bar. Then two times a bar dot b bar and then minus b square. What is mod a plus b? From parallelogram of vectors, we know this is a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta, where theta is angle between a and b. What is 2a minus b? 2a whole square minus b whole square plus 2 into 2a into minus b into cos theta. So basically, wherever there is b, just replace with minus b. The signs will take care of it. Cos alpha. So we are using parallelogram law on the right-hand side and the dot product on the left-hand side. Uh, a is given 2 and b is 1. So substitute. This guy is how much? 2 into 2 square. This is a dot b, b square is one. This is two square, one square, two into two into one into cos 60. This is a is two again, two to four, 16 plus one plus two, two a is four minus one cos 60. It is long solving, but yeah, you'll get it. So this is four, eight minus one, seven, and eight dot B is again two into one into cos 60. This is a two plus one, five, and one, two will cancel. Root seven, this is 17 minus four root 13. Numbers don't look great, right? Cos alpha is eight by root 91. Check. Have a look at this. Problem is lengthy. It's a good one, but it is a lengthy one. Do have a look at the steps. So on the right hand side, this is a parallelogram of vectors. Left hand side is a dot product. It's a combination from both. Don't get confused between alpha and uh, theta. Alpha is the angle between the new vectors. Theta was the angle between neighbor and neighbor. Clear everyone. All got this? Let's see one more. Can I go ahead? Devika, got this? Ashmet, Brijesh? Clear? Yes, Arush? Clear? Sanya, clear with this? Tanish? Soham, got this? Going ahead, next one. A force F bar, which is 3i 
माइनस टू जे प्लस के एक्ट ऑन बॉडी गोइंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए विच इज वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री टू पॉइंट बी विच इज माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस वन कॉमा माइनस वन द वर्क डन का फॉर्मूला is given by force dot displacement vector which is f bar dot ab bar there i give you all the information find work done so a particle is going from a to b in a line f bar is given a and b ka coordinates are given find the work done सेवन न्यूटन ओके सेवन ठीक है फर्स्ट यू डिफेंड ए बी बार वॉट इज ए बी बार यूर गोइंग फ्रॉम ए टू बी सो बी इज फाइनल ए इज इनिशियल सो माइनस टू माइनस वन आई कैप सो यू आर डूइंग बी माइनस एक्स सो माइनस वन माइनस टू जे कैप माइनस वन माइनस थ्री के कैप माइनस थ्री आई माइनस थ्री जे माइनस फोर के देन इट इज सिंपली डॉट प्रोडक्ट सो देर इज नथिंग मोर इन द क्वेश्चन थ्री थ्री माइनस नाइन माइनस टू सिक्स एंड माइनस फोर इज दिस माइनस सेवन जूल्स यू कैन लीव इट देर इजी next one let's say we have vector a bar Which is a x i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap. So a bar makes an angle alpha with x axis. A bar makes an angle beta with y axis. A bar makes an angle gamma with z axis. So these angles, right? Alpha, beta, gamma are called direction cosines. Cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma are called direction cosines. Find sine square alpha. साइन स्क्वायर बीटा प्लस साइन स्क्वायर कामा लेट्स गेट दिस
Hmm. How do we do this? Okay, we have one answer. See. So what you're asking is angle between a bar and the x-axis. So isn't it as good as saying angle between a bar and the uh, i cap? So if you take a vector along x-axis, there is nothing but i cap. So a bar dot i cap is nothing but mod a bar mod i cap and the angle between them is cos alpha so we end up with so this is nothing but ax the dot product magnitude is root over ax square a y square plus a z square cos alpha so there we get the angle so cos alpha is that x component by root over ax square a y square a z square you can do the same thing for y axis. So a bar dot j cap would be mod a cap mod j cap, which is one and cos beta. This also will give you cos beta will be a y by root over a x square, a y square, a z square. a bar dot k cap is mod a mod k cos gamma. This would be a z by root over. So there, if you want to find the angle, this is how you find them. Now, if you add all of them, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma, and you'll see numerator and denominator will cancel out. Now, this can be written as 1 minus sine square alpha, 1 minus sine square beta, 1 minus sine square gamma. So therefore, what I asked you, sine square alpha, sine square beta plus sine square gamma turns out to be two. Check. Clear with this. Any doubts on this? Clear? Yeah. Turn in the pitch. Any doubts on this? Caution B, clear. Devika? Clear, na? Om, Shashwat? Arush? Perfect. Turn in the pitch. Anyone? Tanish, clear with this. We got a cube here. This is your x axis, this is your z axis, and this is your y axis. It's a cube of side A. This is point A, this is point A, B, and C. Find angle between. A B bar and A C bar.
how do we get the angle between them? Yeah, right there, Lanch. You have one answer. Others, try, try, got a minute. You just need to find the vectors and get the dot product. There's nothing there. Mm, let's see. First, let's get the coordinates. Remember, how I taught you how to get the coordinates. If this y is origin, now to go to a, you'll travel along x-axis and you'll travel along z-axis. So you'll become a comma zero comma a. If you want to go to b, I'll, I'll go up and then I'll go this way. So it is zero comma a comma a. So whichever direction you travel, only that coordinate will change. The other coordinates won't get affected. If you want to go to C, then that would be A comma A comma zero. So A B bar would be B minus A minus A I cap A J cap A C bar would be A J cap minus A K cap. So A B bar dot A C bar would be minus a square minus a square this magnitude would be root over 2a square so we also know the dot product is nothing but root over 2a square 2a square cos theta so this is minus 2a square 2a square cos theta i messed up something Nay, this is wrong. Dot product now minus aj. This is gone. Only this will come. So this is only a square here. Minus take. So a square and this is two a square is cos theta. Cos theta is half and theta is 60 degrees. Remember, I told you in the beginning, in a tetrahedron, they'll form all 60 degrees. This was the proof using a dot product. Clear? Next one. Now, let's say we have a mirror. You're sending a light ray like this. Let's call this thing I cap. This is a unit vector along incident ray. After reflection, the light ray will bounce off. Let's call this thing R cap. This is a unit vector along reflected ray. And this here is, let's call it n cap. This is a unit normal vector. And you know, whenever this thing hits the mirror, this angle and this angle are equal, i is equal to r. Find relation between the three vectors. Find relation between I cap, R cap, and M cap. 
meaning if i give you i cap and n cap you should be able to tell me r cap ka value so there's a relation between them let's get this it's a pretty good one how do we do this Listen, this is a not difficult, but it doesn't click sometimes. Look at the idea here. Tell me one thing. Whenever you hit a mirror, what changes? For example, let's say when the light ray is coming like this. This is, let's say, your eye cap. Can I split this into two parts? This is eye parallel to mirror. This is I perpendicular to mirror. And when you know, whenever you hit a mirror, what changes? And when you bounce here, the only the component perpendicular to the mirror will change, isn't it? So this will still remain I parallel only. But this guy will become minus I perpendicular. Do you guys agree with this? So reflected ray is nothing but. So R cap is nothing but I parallel minus I perpendicular. Sure with this? Or I'll do one thing with it. I will just change this a bit. Let's call this thing I perpendicular. This is perpendicular to normal. This is parallel to normal. So this will be I parallel reverse and this is I perpendicular. And we know this is your N bar. So R bar is nothing but I perpendicular minus I parallel. Agreed? 
but i already know i cap is nothing but i perpendicular plus i parallel so from here i perpendicular is nothing but i cap minus i parallel then this guy will become i cap minus i parallel minus i parallel which is i cap minus 2 times i parallel so what is i parallel i parallel is nothing but the component of i bar along n bar right then you will get from there that is nothing but i cap cos theta n cap which is i cap dot n cap by mod n cap into cos theta today we did this thing na the vector components so this becomes i cap minus 2 times i cap dot n cap cos theta jayega this is n cap into n cap that is your final answer so r cap is i cap minus 2 times i cap dot n cap dot product into n cap this would be the relation between the vectors again what did i do listen so when the light ray hits like this and bounces off this will have two components i am taking i perpendicular to n cap that is n cap this is i parallel to n cap so after hitting the perpendicular basically this component will not change whenever you hit a mirror only this will reverse no i hope everyone is clear with that part so this will become minus of i parallel so r bar is nothing but i perpendicular minus i parallel but i already know i bar is nothing but i perpendicular plus i parallel i am eliminating this i perpendicular that becomes i bar minus 2 times i parallel i parallel is nothing but the vector component of i bar along n bar which is i cap dot n cap by mod n cap into n cap but n cap ka magnitude is 1 so it becomes i cap minus 2 times i cap dot n cap n cap Sure, the steps. If someone gives you R bar and this thing, this is how you do this. Let's take N bar this way. Please have a look at the steps. We are going to see this again in uh, optics. Clear with us? So this is about the scalar dot product. right so with that we'll wrap up for the day so next class when we catch up next week we are going to do you know vector cross product that's uh, that is a little more mostly i think we should finish off that it doesn't take long we might be finish off in an hour or something and then we'll start off with differentiation and introduction we'll be starting off with calculus in the next class so we'll start off with uh, initial differentiation applications then we'll go for integration theek hai so with that we'll wrap up for the day and all the lectures that we did today right will be uploaded by tomorrow in the youtube channel and i'll post it in the group also you can watch if you need there so let's see now paper ka discussion so any doubt in the paper you can ask me but if you have no doubts you're free to leave